What is the best companion for fishing? The fish finder, incredibly easy. And the best partner? That's a bit trickier. No, not really. Cartography is crucial in fishing. We need it for marks. We need it for the coast, to see wrecks, shallows, everything we want. It has become essential, especially since GPS allows us to be very precise with positions. And Team Zero, in collaboration with Furuno, has created a product that is truly incredible in terms of both cartography and meteorology. Actually, there are many other features, but these two are the fundamental ones I use a lot. I've been using TZ iBoat for many years, but the latest version is truly amazing. It has exceptional proprietary cartography, not Navionics or CMAP. It's something they've created themselves, with detail and a vision that you'll see shortly. I'll show you the program directly in a moment. This is one of two videos. There will definitely be a second one focusing solely on the weather. In this video, I just want to talk about cartography and won't cover everything because otherwise it would be over an hour long, but you can already get an idea of what this program can do. Let's take a look together. Here we are, this is my iPad, and here we also have my iPhone. Now I'll show you the TZ iBoat program live. As you can see, it says, Hello Davide, it recognizes me, so I log in. At the moment, it's downloading all my cloud settings. But even without an internet connection, it would be exactly the same. And of course, I can do this on my iPhone as well. Let's do this. Here it is. It was already open, but I'll show you directly from the start. As you can see, it's the same thing. So this program can be used on both devices, on both the iPhone and iPad, of course. The iPad is much larger, much easier, but the operation is absolutely the same on the iPhone. Now, to show you in detail all the features, I'll only use the iPad, which obviously has a larger screen. I'll connect it to the computer, and you'll be able to see better what this program is capable of, which in my opinion is incredible. With the arrow up here, you can practically select the boat's current position. This is the area where I live, where my house, my office is. Even though I'm indoors, I still manage to pick up the satellite signal, and now we'll see our program directly on the computer screen. And here's our screen on our iPad. Well, first of all, the fluidity is incredible. Now I'll show you some things, and I won't be able to go into detail on everything because this video would, as usual, become an hour-long video. Instead, this is not meant to be an hour-long video. I want to give you general indications on some functions, the ones I consider the most important. However, I assure you that this program can do practically everything, probably even better than the classic cartography programs we have on the instruments in our boat. The first thing, the most important, is to see, for a moment, the chart. That is, how well-defined and, above all, easily interpretable everything is uh, below the water's surface. So, to simplify, I'll remove things that don't interest me right now, show you. So, I remove the marks. I could also remove our overlays, so let's also remove the satellite images. And right now, we have only cartography with the coastal part. Great. This is Trieste. 
These are the two outer breakwaters. This is Punta Sotil. So let's see what we can do with this program. Down here on the bottom left, we already have some simple things to activate or deactivate. For example, the number of bathymetry lines. It might be that I don't want too much data on the screen right now because maybe I'm just navigating. With this button, let's call it that even though it's touch, I can select the degree of bathymetry line division. I usually use it on number three. It's more than enough. As you can see, by widening or narrowing the chart, I am modifying the colors of the chart itself. This is because here on the left, you see this colored bar, and right now, it's marking 0.25. This means that the program automatically selects the minimum measurement it has on the screen at the moment, up to the maximum depth measurement, and shows me all the color scales. If I close this image, obviously at higher depths, now we're at 42M, and as you can see, the colors on the chart change completely. The further I go, the more the colors are automatically adjusted across the entire scale for all depths visible on the monitor at the moment. But, in our fishing, we will definitely use the map in a more zoomed-in way. Let's call it that, capable of highlighting all the things we need. As you can see, this is already beautiful. As I mentioned earlier, to the right, we have the layers. Basically, in this window, I have all the things that can be inserted or shown on the chart. I can also choose a normal chart without all the bathymetry lines. In this case, I'll use a normal vector chart. And of course, I can also remove the bathymetry coloration. And here we are, on a chart that is the most common, the classic one, the one we all know. As you can see, with just a few touches of the screen, I can do everything. Let's go back to the layer. I'll put back the bathymetry coloration, because in my opinion, it's very convenient. I can show, for example, I can insert the track. Right now, I'm not navigating, it's not necessary. The current and tide stations, the targets. Then there's also a very interesting function called dynamic ming, which is useful when anchoring, but it's too specific, so I'll skip it for now. Let's look at user data. We have markers, definitely essential. We have catches, which is also a very interesting function that I'll show you better later. And my photos, which is the thing I mentioned earlier. Now I've added all the marks, and obviously I have quite a few. But as you can see, there's no problem managing these marks. Now let me show you how the photo feature works. The screenshots I mentioned, as you can see, I select it, and if I want, I can view the screenshot I took that day when I was fishing. Obviously, this is a screenshot taken on my TZ Touch 3, a 12-inch screen. From the menu, I simply set the device so that when I touch the screen with two fingers and make this gesture, it automatically creates a screenshot. 
I save it on TZ Touch. The first time I connect TZ Touch to the internet via the phone as a hotspot, it downloads all the points, tracks, routes, and photos to the cloud, which is free and costs nothing. They are available for my TZ iBoat navigation program, so by downloading the program, I have all this information always available on my iPad, in this case, or iPhone, as I showed you earlier. And I must say this is really very, very useful because it allows me to analyze or show things to friends. Perhaps, for example, there was an interesting situation and I want to show it to you. I call up the screenshot, which appears instantly on the screen without any kind of export, nothing. These are data present in the cloud. When I connected my iPad to the cloud, it automatically downloaded everything. And shortly after, they became available here as well. Now let's see how to insert, for example, a mark. Obviously, if the boat is in motion, it's even easier. I'll now put a mark somewhat randomly. Just touch the screen and say, New Mark. At this point, I can select the mark, change the symbol. The device already offers me several. I can change the color. Let's make it red. I can tell it, go to, for example, and it's very simple. I do this, and it already creates the route from the point where I am to the mark. This program doesn't do auto-routing, meaning it can't handle depths, islands, etc., but it still gives me, in a normal situation, the route, the distance. As you can see, in a straight line, I have 70 miles. The compass, how long it will take me to get there at the speed I might be moving at that moment. So even for navigation, it's really very convenient. Then this system can be an excellent backup or for those who already have a multifunction tool and also use radar. They can use it paired with radar, that is use radar on one screen and use this for cartography. There are many different ways to use this program. I also have 3D, as you've seen, but now let's go back to cartography, let's go back to layers. Here is a whole weather situation that we will cover in the next video. I can insert photos, as I showed you earlier. I can choose, and this is another important thing, the night mode in case I'm navigating at night with the boat and don't want too much light, whether it's a phone or normal cartography. You know that our eyes also need more than an hour to adjust to the dark. So, maybe, looking at a map on the phone that illuminates and dazzles, you doesn't allow you to see anything for quite some time afterward. This program can also handle dusk and night. I'll try to set it tonight now. Let's see if we can see anything because it becomes really dark. Night. Here we are. This is the nighttime chart. As you can see, it's almost dark. Let's switch back to daylight, which is certainly the most important. Up here on the top left, I have another function, another menu access button, where I have my data, login data if I make trips, and then a very nice, very functional feature. Smart search, which allows me to easily search for something within the map or the things I have recorded. For example, Marina. 
Selecting this function highlights all the marinas in the area, and I can immediately see where it is. Just click on it, and it centers the place for me immediately. Other functions we have here include the ability to buy more advanced charts from the store. These advanced charts are paid, while basic charts are free. So, one can use the program without spending anything. I still recommend getting the chart for the area where you're navigating because we have a lot more information and we have the ability to export all our data very easily, as you can see. Even if I go to export, it asks me how I want to export and I can do it via messenger, email, airdrop. Truly, I can use any system and it's incredibly simple. I can also add a mark or a route directly by entering latitude and longitude, and I can even create an area, which is very interesting for those who participate in races. We can draw an area on our chart in a really simple, quick way and always have it at hand on the phone. Often, multifunction tools don't have this functionality, but for those who race, this program can be interesting. Moreover, it also handles radar. It can be displayed on our iPad or smartphone. So there's this additional feature as well. The connection is made via Wi-Fi, so there are no cables, no need to insert any cables or do any wiring. Just power the radar and have the iPhone or iPad. They connect and everything works perfectly. This concludes the presentation of the program. If you're interested in me exploring more features of this program, let me know in the comments. If I see there's a certain interest, I'll definitely make specific videos on this program. The next one will be about meteorology, where we've made some truly giant leaps. It's the best meteorology program, I think, currently on the market and paid. Unfortunately, it requires a monthly subscription. But I must say that it works very well, it's very easily interpretable, and most importantly, it works. I mean, if they have data like wind, waves, temperatures, many things that work really well. See you in the next video. So, hello everyone.